All right, it's uh, time to do the other side of the FET flag. I've got to put all the stars on here. That's about all the time I'm going to have today because it's going to take a while to do that. I got uh, the stars in the mail today from Etsy. They're located in Draper, Utah. So it didn't take as long as they said it would take. I thought I wouldn't be seeing these until Thursday, but I got them today. And they come in bags. Well, it's a whole bunch of little tiny stars. I know you probably can't see them. Let's see if I can get them here in front of the light. And I can't. But anyway, you can see them right there. All right, let's get started adding stars to the flag. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm going to uh, get the stars out. I think there's a song for that name. <laughs> the stars are out tonight. Whatever. This is uh, the company. Oh, let's see if I can show this better. This is the company that produces these little stars. Brass Kickers. A brass kicker. Like I said, they're located in Draper, Utah, which is less than, well, it's a little over 300 miles south of here. So they live in Utah. The first thing I do is take my Gorilla Glue and uh, put a dab of it here on that paper. And then I pick up a star, hopefully. Get a little bit of that glue on the, the paper here. Hopefully lay the star right on. I gotta get the light down here. So I can see more clearly. Okay, trying to get it to stay there is another thing. Okay, I think you can see why it's going to take me a, pretty much all day to do this. Get everything lined up. I can't get my hands on there because then I'll have glue on my fingers all day. Heck, actually for probably about a week. That one's not working. I'll try Actually's this again. A little bit of glue. Set that aside. I get the star and try to set that on there perfectly. Now I've got one without glue on it, fondue stick that is, and I'm just gonna try to hold the star down while I disconnect it from the uh, stick or clay. There we go. And I just press it on. All right, next stick, next star.
K. That's on there. All right, as you can see, this is going to take me a long time to do. So, yeah. In case you think I'm using the same end to line up the star on this stick, this bondu stick, I'm not. I sharpened two ends, one for picking up the clay, uh, the uh, glue, and one side, and for lining the uh, star. You only got a couple of seconds before the damn thing can't be moved anymore. Okay, I'm uh, done with it, and uh, it looks great. I'm happy with it. I put it in the uh, my little holder that uh, I made so that I could keep this uh, up off the uh, sculpting stand and keep it in good shape. It's at the angle it's going to hang off of in his hands. Let me put that in his hands anyway. Well, it looks really good. I'm glad I got the stars on it. That's going to come out in the casting uh, as uh, three-dimensional stars. 
Uh, if you'll actually be able to see them. And uh, this piece is pretty much done. I'm going to do a little work on uh, his face. Uh, it's gotten damaged over time. I've got to remake the top of the guide on. And, uh, but other than that, it looks great. I'm, I'm really proud of what I've done here. I'm going to work on the hair. I've also got the feathers. I've got to, uh, yeah, there they are on the base. I've got to work on those feathers on the back of the uh, tail. And, uh, I think it's going to be a good, good bronze. I'm, I'm really happy with it. All right, that's going to be it for today, and I'll catch you guys next time. Give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.